You know, Jewish congregations across the Sun Coast are preparing for the holiest day of the year in their calendar. As it is, John Woodruff has more on Yom Kippur tonight, which begins tomorrow at sundown. We have second chances. We can do things over again. We make mistakes, that's okay. We learn from them, we grow, and we move forward. Yom Kippur is the Jewish Day of Atonement. For Rabbi Michael Werbo, it is a joyous time of the year, following Rosh Hashanah's Day of Judgment. Yom Kippur is the, in some ways, the exoneration, right? It's, it's getting the good, good report and the good message. For Rabbi Werbo, this marks his first high holidays spent at Temple Beth Shalom in Sarasota. He says at Rosh Hashanah, he shared his vision with the congregation. But I really want to be going to the core messages of our, of our faith tradition and, and the ones that I connect with most strongly. In the past, when Werbo was a participant in Yom Kippur services, he says he typically found a spot in the front row to shut out other distractions on a day of introspection, a mood he hopes to reproduce in his congregants. I hope that people are able to uh, use this time to set an agenda for themselves. What are the things that they want to uh, see differently in their lives? From sundown until three stars are seen in the sky the next night, a chance to find our faults and start the year with a clean slate. I've often heard of it talked about as, as uh, the, uh, the little person in the uh, GPS who's saying recalibrate. And you get off track a little bit and she, you know, recalibrates and sends you back on, on track. Reporting in Sarasota, John Woodruff, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Well, Temple Beth Shalom leads three services for Yom Kippur, one tomorrow evening and then another Saturday morning at 8.30, followed by an evening service at 5.30.